Okay, we're starting back here. Um, let's go to the front. So, um, as as uh, comments in the back, you, I mean, it's nice to see you've got these these things in the pipeline. You've got some you got some interesting things you've gone out to find. Um, that is very reassuring when it comes to this whole business of exploring. I'm, I'm thinking straight away we're dealing with someone who's an explorer here, um, and and that bodes very very well. Kind of sense of sense of kind of purpose to it, a sense of um, uh, curiosity, um, and the recording is coming on well. I'm struck first off by you've got some good uh, mind mapping. I would keep coming back to it. Um, I think color coding can be useful. Uh, it might be that certain areas extend more and that it kind of branch off into separate sort of mini mind maps. Keep them visual sometimes, that can be useful. Um, and, and also the way you use the color is interesting because you've got some quite precise, um, we've got some quite precise um, observational work and um, you've also got this, this is something slightly um, reminding me already of Michael Craig Martin. Yeah, so it feels like there's some business going on, on, on there already. And these are kind of, um, there is a sense of them connecting up, uh, but I like this kind of visual mind map setup um, and to kind of almost like mixing that in a way with what you've got going on there could be kind of interesting, you know, just to see where it leads, maybe even mapping out a large, larger piece of paper and just moving the pieces of paper around and not necessarily worrying about the presentation, but taking photographs of it at different stages um, might help. Um, again, to have David Hockney and also to have this kind of level of um, detailed drawing is, is kind of interesting. It's like you've got a style of, uh, uh, of making, of laying out a page here, uh, which could come out, you know, possibly come out more. I think that the, the, the sort of felt tip thing is interesting because it does tie in a bit with a Hockney. Um, have you tried drawing on an iPad? No. Could give it a whirl. Um, when you when you go around here, um, the visual aspects of the mind map can be good. It might be that certain things you start to associ associate with certain colours or certain textures or that kind of thing. Watch out for the old um, yeah. yeah yeah felt tips for a bit of the minefield. Often we'll say um, not use them because you only get one tone, one hue, one kind of thickness of them if you like. But that kind of fits with the sort of emerging style here you know so I'm, I'm feeling like that shouldn't be lost altogether um, I like the connection to things at home again it's kind of something coming later on certain little bits sort of slightly unresolved and thinking and thinking how is this placed also the choice of the style of drawing kind of interesting slightly graphic style maybe um, and there's 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 room to kind of, to make that more explicit. You've got something which is already of a particular style, um, so that the, the story state you know builds in more coherence. For example, this kind of quite deliberate cross hatching, um, and then this sort of repetition of something quite minimal. You know, if you're going to do a drawing of Donald Judd style, it would be that sort of graphic minimal sort of thing going on. Um, yeah, something like this where you've got a lot of visual information. And if you feel like there's more and you want to have more in terms of images, just have more um, for sure. Because <clears throat> you can have you can have kind of um, elements that are consistent. <coughs> now it's some kind of way of, sort of color coding or annotating, bringing together different parts. Use photography. More. I'm mean, thinking. Did you have a go? Actually, yeah, you were wearing stuff, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So we want them in. Are these in here yet? Um. Not yet. Yeah. I can take like screen grabs. I guess. Yeah. I think so. I think there's, there's sort of stories to be told there. Yeah. Um. And and you know, just that whole period was like absolutely chock full of little incidents and yeah. and, and ideas. It might be that parts don't feel that coherent with what else is going on. In which case. No, still print them up, but just have them at the, at the start of the book. Um, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Have it like sort of keep it on the back burner, as it were, and, and reintroduce it at a later stage. Um, mm -hmm. Nice to see you getting out and seeing things. The um, Matisse cutouts might be interesting as a sort of formal yeah, link. I was thinking of that. Yeah. I'm using that in um, my 
Yeah. Um, felt tips and, and possibly even looking deliberately at people who use felt tips because it's quite a, yeah. I mean, it's a very distinct thing. It's a very, it has very, all, all kinds of um, connotations, associations. Um, and, and, and formally, it's a, a very much a certain look, even more than um, like you look at a pop art like Liechtenstein or, um, uh, you know, if you're looking at an, an op art, Bridget Riley, whoever, you've got. Um, you've got a different type of um, process maybe screen printing could be interesting to get this sort of flatness um, more annotation obviously on kind of curious on what this is about where it's going and so on reminds me a little bit of um, uh, Brandenburg Mark Brandenburg and his um, drawings of the the um, waves ripples um, like fluid things um yeah great to see all the images in here um and you know again if if there are others additional ones spread them out i mean really allow lots of room for it because there's lots of things in there like you know and it, it could be kind of reflecting on other people's input as well as um you know particular scenes and actions and um things you think things that you you, you liked and interacted with and got inspiration from and things that perhaps you felt encroached on your space or how you'd like to reinvent the space and so on and of course we started to get going right there with that sort of thing i think it's terrific that piece and um keep going with more there's um something called um a photographer uh who does little um little sets which i think you, you should definitely have a look at whose name i can't remember i'll write it in your book 